Hi, my name is Scott Holst. I'm a physical therapist at Carolina's Healthcare System, Carolina's Neuromuscular ALS and MDA Center. I'm going to um, show you how to use a hydraulic patient lifter and sling to transfer a person from the wheelchair to the bed and then back from the bed to the wheelchair. First, if they're in a power wheelchair, you want to make sure the power wheelchair is off. And if it has a joist, retractable joystick handle or swing away, moving it out of the way will uh, just reduce risk of damage to the component. Uh, also, making sure the seat belt is unbuckled for the patient once they're securely in a position in the wheelchair. And also, uh, lifting the, the leg rest up. I'm going to uh, put the sling in with the, the handle on the, the outside or the back. I'm going to um, help the, the person lean forward, staying close to your, your body, and then sliding the sling back behind them. You want the bottom part of the sling uh, close uh, to the person's uh, pelvis, so sliding down low to almost where uh, to, towards the cushion. And then helping the person rest back on the seat and then helping them get their head back. With the, the leg loops, trying to make sure there are no twists uh, as you um, place it under the person's leg. Lifting the leg up and then pulling the leg strap through. The higher you can get the leg strap up, the less the person will slide through uh, the, uh, the hole that's uh, created by the, the divided leg sling. If the person has poor trunk control, uh, you can also have the, the wheelchair tilted posteriorly so their back is weighted. There's uh, different methods to uh, with the leg straps. Frequently um, crossing um, through um, keeps the, the person from um, sliding through the hole as it prevents a gap, um, a stop here. And then you can also move the straps crossing under both legs as such without crisscrossing if the person's wearing slick athletic pants. Uh, this typically um, has worked in the past to keep them from sliding forward as much. But we'll use the more traditional method of crossing the, the straps. And you just want to make sure the person's arms are inside the left. And bring our lifter over. Next, I'm going to use the lever to open up the base of the legs to get around the chair. And you might be required to lower the lift arm just a little bit. I'm going to tuck both sets of loops through. We 
If you can see here, this position would, um, with the furthest loop, or the closest loop in, would have the, the person sitting in a more upright position. So we're going to lay back in bed, and they need to be flatter. We can um, go to the most outside loop. Or if someone's unable to uh, tolerate being more at a 90 degree angle with their hips, you can also put it in the, the furthest um, loop out. Next, I'll just secure the brake. And I'm just watching to make sure now that uh, the straps are hooked on the wheelchair armrest. mindful too that the, the person's legs do not hit the, the feet at the bar. We're clear out of the chair. I'm going to pull the lift back. It's easier to uh, maneuver the chair with the base narrower. Making sure uh, the area under the bed is free of um, any uh, materials or any cords or lines or tubes are tucked away and uh, placed to the opposite side. Uh, you might be required to lift the, pay the client up a little bit more so their bottom clears the edge. I'm going to use the handle. I'm going to move the, the leg around and then I'm going to push in. Depending on the heights of some beds, you still might be required to do a little bit of lifting. Pushing the lift all the way in and then it's easier to move the person when their weight is um, supported by the lift and moving them towards the middle of the bed or they will be laying. Next, locking the brakes again and then slowly lowering the lift back down. the straps and then moving the lift away. To remove the straps, uh, just sliding it out from underneath the person's legs. Uh, moving an arm, helping them bend the leg to the side. Holding the sling up in half and then assisting the, the person to roll back Taking care not to pull on their arm, moving their head. To the other side. 
and then pulling out the sling, and then assisting them to lay back to the middle of the bed. And uh, that's how to use a hydraulic patient lifter to transfer a person to the bed.